This you is, may also see some variation in the stroke here in the right. 50 free. Uh, some of the world's fastest 50 freestylers are now using a, a more of a windmill stroke, right. a long straight arm as they swim, which is very fast for a 50. Uh, can't be maintained for very, much longer than very that. Very tiring, yeah. By the way, this is heat one. Uh, starting from the bottom of your screen, lane one, we have Hannah Dixon, lane two, Grayson Wallace, lane three, Lillian Kreese, lane four, Kaylee Reed, and lane five, Abby Schultz. Looks like Lillian Kreese taking the win here in heat one, time of 30-40, just off her personal best. All right, heat two on the blocks here. Zoe Szymanski in lane one, Emily Merle in lane two, Caroline Brinson lane three, Kylie Allemeyer in lane four, Ella Rodriguez lane five, and Riley Callender in lane six. Good underwater there from the park shore somewhere in lane two. If you look over in lane six, you can see an example of that long straight arm that right. I was talking about. And she did maintain that for about the first 20 yards. I'm not sure whether she can maintain it. No, she is, in fact, bending her arms a little bit now. As Almeyer from the Somerville Y, first swimmer under 30, 29.06, and a good little time drop for Kylie. This is Heat 3 in lane 1. We'll have Dupree Royal. Lane 2, Maddie Nichols. Lane 3, Lily Feingold. Lane 4, Kyra Boykin. Lane 5, Emma Page. And in lane 6, Riley McCraw. And you'll see the power of the kick and the stroke in these 50s where you really see a good splash behind the body there. So important in a 50 freestyle to have good legs. Good stroke there from lane 3, Lily Feingold. Getting that windmill stroke. Probably the, f the easiest way to have a fast turnover if you can, if you have the strength to maintain it. And it will be fine goal taking that win, 29-33. All right, we've got Heat 4 stepping up onto the blocks. Anne Marie Klaas in lane one, Brooke Riles lane two, Sarah Burnett lane three, Jackie Rutan lane four, Megan Vital lane five, and Katherine Jackson in lane six. Might have had a, some movement there in, in lane two, but was not called. What a great start by Sarah Burnett there in the middle in lane three from Northbridge. She really got off the block quickly. Does appear she may have caught the turn first, although the Crowfield swimmer is right there with her. I think it's Northbridge. Reaching for the wall. You Oh, and it may have been Crowfield swimmer with a push. Yes, it was. And that was Brooke Riles with the strong finish taking the win there. All right, lane five on the blocks. Victoria Hempel, lane one. Catherine Beebe, lane two. Daisy Koenig, lane three. Catherine Grace Soper, lane four. Stella Wood, lane five. And Nina Jansen, lane six. So in a race like this, Having an efficient finish can make all the difference. I like to tell my swimmers to try and get low with their last stroke, but they also need to think and sort of, as they near the wall, I have three strokes left, two strokes left, so they know which stroke is the last one, the one that they should reach out for. I personally like to coach them to finish on their side. I think that's the strongest way to finish. There's so many great examples out there of Olympians winning races by finishing on their side, or Worst case scenario, losing them by not finishing on their side. Yards we did have some movement. It looked like the long point swimmer in lane two. Way to be ready, Sid. In lane one, we have Mackenzie Fennel. We saw her younger sister winning some uh, yeah, yeah, seven, eight Sam. awards earlier today. Lane two, Ellis Pitts. Younger go, sister girls. of Virginia Tech swimmer Cooper Pitts. Bella Cassell in lane three, Olivia Polk lane four, Natalie Burton lane five, and Sim Meta lane six. Sim. And that was a good start. And look at that streamline in lane two. What a beautiful underwater. <laughs> and it does look like our lane two swimmer, Ellis Pitts, has grabbed the wall first. 
Maybe a little extra general in there from that Alice false Pitts start. Looking strong here. Yes, and yes, and it will be Pitts. Punch it, punch it. In a time of 25-82. Your city champion.